Your teacher offered the class a pizza party if the average quiz grade was at least an eight. Write and solve an inequality that represents the grade you would need to receive the pizza party. Well, first we need to write an inequality. So let's first look for keywords that are gonna kind of give us an idea of what the inequality is gonna look like. So hopefully first you notice the word average. We need an average grade of at least eight. So I'm gonna underline average. At least is another keyword uh, that's gonna help tell us what inequality symbol to use. And now, more or less, we're ready to start our inequality. So we need an average quiz grade that's at least an eight. Well, first, how do you find an average? Well, you need to add up all the values and divide by how many values there are. With all that information, let's start our inequality. So as you can see, I've already started to add up all the other students' grades, but we also need to include my grade in the average but we don't know what my grade is. That's what we're trying to figure out. So when we have an unknown, we make that our variable. And if it's gonna represent my grade, let's call it G. So we're gonna add plus G at the end. And that's the first step when you're finding an average, but then once you add everything together, you need to divide by how many values there are and there are nine students in the class if you count including myself. So we need to divide all of that by nine. Now let's write the inequality symbol. Remember we underlined at least, and at least means greater than or equal to, and the average needs to be at least an eight. So greater than or equal to eight. So that's what the inequality should look like at the start. Now let's simplify it. So we can add all of your classmates' grades together first. Let's do that. And hopefully you got 62. So now we've got 62 plus G, whatever grade I got on the quiz, divided by nine. All of that has to be greater than or equal to eight. All right, now look at after we've simplified the inequality, it looks way, way simpler. And now we're ready to solve. So I'm trying to get G alone, which means I need to first multiply both sides by nine. So let's do that. Multiply both sides by nine. Those nine simplify and we're left with 62 plus G is greater than or equal to eight times nine is 72. I don't need to switch the inequality symbol because we multiplied both sides by a positive nine. So now to get G alone, I just need to subtract 62 from both sides. And I am left with G is greater than or equal to 10. I wrote the inequality, I've solved it, and now we can answer the question, I need a grade of at least a 10 on the quiz for my class to receive a pizza party, which means the pressure's on. Yikes. Here's one to try on your own. 